Hey guys, I am Tushal Boy, and you should know that are you lost. So today we are watching Agent Carter. I am very excited for this. Episode one was brilliant. The Lady in the Lake. Uh, I think this is a view in the dark, but I'm not sure. You'll know because it says it on the video description, and because you've watched it, and I haven't. So yay! Don't know what this hand is, but it's doing something. So. Hope you guys enjoyed um, the 100 and Legends of Tomorrow. If you haven't checked my reactions out to them yet, go check them out now. Do it now. If you don't, I'll. Well, I won't be your friend. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. This is not wine. I really wish it was. I would be blooded. <laughs> What's he doing? I want to see what he's doing. The tire is a touch primitive. But I found the free range of motion is imperative. I had no idea your interest was so diverse. <laughs> Since our adventures in New York, we've begun a regimented physical fitness routine. Oh my oh. god. As well as training in the deadly arts. Ah, the deadly arts, you say? Fencing <laughs> is a gentleman's pursuit. Mr. Jarvis, I really wouldn't do that. But I shan't hurt you too badly. I really don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jarvis, <laughs> I learned that one from my brother. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Mr. Jarvis. Good morning, you two. Did he catch you with his patent of tortoise of fury? <laughs> oh, is that what he's calling it? <laughs> Hello, welcome night, Dine. Oh, is there anything? We have a warrant to search the premises. You can help me by opening the door, or we will open it by force. Peggy. There's a small containment leak, and the lab is currently under isolation. Well, how convenient. <laughs> Would have been our best option. Don't tell me you believe that garbage about radiation. No, but I do think that Dr. Wilkes is interested in cooperating with us. We may find some answers after all. I knew he handed us something. I knew it. I knew it. I love this. It's like 3D. It's like I'm coming right at you. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'm so cynical. <laughs> I used to die in atomic. I didn't read that last bit. I was too busy tilting my head. Ooh, creepy, creepy man. He is always watching. Ah. Uh, I knew I should have been a Viner. <laughs> Dunbar simply refers to as his suck on the doorknob. His what? It's a tracking device. Mr. Stark activates it when he's abandoned the car for the evening because he's found companionship. Oh, when I think Howard has reached the depths of depravity, you dig up a wellspring, Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> uh, radio? No. <laughs> Good lord, is that a mirror? Ah! <laughs> That's brilliant. That was, that was very good. What How is that? I wish I could tell you. Isodyne has worked its people around the clock trying to determine the exact science behind this anomaly, but... Well, here. See for yourself. Holy Christ. What on earth could do that? Watch. No sign of the men or the vehicles since that moment. Is that the monolith? Only one thing was left behind. Isodyne is calling it zero matter. Mostly because there's no fit for it anywhere on the periodic table. Zero matter is unlike any substance I reckon it's the monolith. I'm okay. starting to think that it's more dangerous than anything we've ever known. Shit. Move. Oh wow, these guys came prepared to say come Peggy Carter. Jesus. We need to find another way out of here. That is a powerful ass gun. Because it's a gun and they're powerful. Huh? <laughs> I've got you! Oh, you beast! 
Darling! Uh, Come in, please. Right now. I had that pink atrocity exactly where I wanted him. What could possibly be so important? There's a sock on the doorknob. Did you bring a gun? Can you shoot? I was in the Navy, remember? Cover me while I get this started. Jesus. I think we might be a bit out of guns here. She's one hell of a girl. Yeah. Get in! Right, on me. Go. You'll have to sign this. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, Peg. Right now you're giving you a weapon. Be here. It, it, it's not safe. No, it isn't. In fact, I'm surprised to see you alive, Dr. Wells. Excuse me? Now, you're going to place the specimen in that case, and you're going to give it to me. Oh. Miss Frost, you have no idea what this stuff is capable of. Oh, on the contrary. I am the only person who knows what it's capable of. Now hand it over. <laughs> Down. Miss Frost, you're making a terrible mistake. I can't in good conscience let you go through with it. So you're willing to die? For this crisis of conscience? I'm starting to think that was your plan for me no matter what. I'm also starting to think that you're smart enough not to shoot me while I'm holding this. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, well that's not good. We should probably run. Whoa. Wilkes. I think this is the it's called a view in the dark. I'm sure he felt the same way, Miss Carter. And where are thou now? Whitney? Honey, are you there? I need to talk to you. There was an accident at the lab. The zero matter. It's all gone. Oh. Shit. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe it's not the monolith. Maybe it's the death creature that got into Grant's brain in Agents of Shit. So many possibilities. And that's how it got there. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe it's actually death itself. You know, like, oh, that is cool. That is badass, guys. Thank you for watching very much. I will see you in the next video. Um, make sure to check out my 100 re reaction and my Legends of Tomorrow reaction. 100 is coming up in a bit. And, uh, oh, I reckon it is. I reckon it's that thing that got, got into Grant's brain in um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And that turned him, obviously, Grant's, spoiler alert, Grant died. And then it got into his head and made him, you know, possessed him. Oh, that would be cool. Thank you for watching very much, guys. I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day. I love you all. Bye-bye.